Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my wedding series. So if you guys have been following along, you already know that Matt and I got married on October 1st and it was so, so awesome. But of course I still have some videos that I wanted to put up for you guys to kind of finish out the series. One of them being just a q and A. I I asked you guys on a recent Instagram post if you had any questions um, about the wedding, anything wedding related, I would be happy to answer as many as I could. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. I got a bunch of questions from you guys, so let's just jump right in and get started. I got so many questions about my dress. Uh, I was so obsessed with my dress. Honestly, I wish that I could wear it again. I'm sad that I cannot. But as far as details of the dress, the designer was Alvina Valenta. It's style number 9551. It was from their fall collection last year. It was just so beautiful. I was obsessed with it. It was a ball gown. If you've seen our wedding picture video, you know what it looks like. But it just had so many cool details. It had a lace bodice. The tulle skirt actually had like a blush layer underneath, so it had a lot of dimension. And then on the actual tulle itself on the skirt had like a bunch of little dots all over it, which was super unexpected. I would have never guessed in a million years that I would literally have dots on my wedding dress, but it was just so, it just looked so cool. It was so like magical. I just, I loved it. The next question is, did I do my own makeup? Did I hire a professional? And you know, why? So I actually did my own makeup for my wedding day. I knew exactly the look that I wanted. I knew that I could do it. So I just decided to do it myself and I had no issues doing that. I will be doing a tutorial on exactly my wedding day makeup look. So stay tuned for that. I did hire um, a makeup artist for the bridesmaids. Some of, my, some of my bridesmaids chose to do their own makeup. They looked amazing. Others chose to have it done by the professional. Um, I just hired one just so that it was available for the girls if they wanted it and it seemed to work out fine. Did you do a first look? No, we did not do a first look. We kept it very traditional. I think first looks are adorable. I think you get great pictures out of them, but I just really wanted to keep it traditional. Plus our ceremony was early in the afternoon and we had like three hours to take pictures afterwards. So there was really no need. So we just kept it traditional. Did you hire a wedding coordinator? Yes, I actually did. And it was one of the best decisions I ever made. We hired a day of wedding coordinator, but she helped me like the weeks leading up to the wedding as well. She was honestly so amazing. I was completely stressed free the entire day because I knew if anything came up she would handle it she would deal with running back and forth communicating with vendors all of that I had to do none of it and it was worth every penny what did you get your bridesmaids groomsmen and parents so for the bridesmaids I got all of the girls robes um, had the monogram pretty classic gift I feel like a lot of people do that makes for a cute picture and it's also just something that's nice that they can keep I also got them a really cute pair of earrings they were just from J crew nothing crazy but they were just nice simple like beautiful kind of jewel earrings um, and then I also got them these cute little like makeup or toiletry bags. I found them on Etsy. I thought they were super cute. They were just little canvas like zip up bags um, and they said you're like really pretty on there. Kind of like from Mean Girls. <laughs> uh, but I just thought that was something that's cute and obviously something that's functional. I use those kind of bags all the time. So I thought that that was kind of a good gift for the girls. Something they could definitely use, you know, along with the robe that's functional um, and just a pretty pair of earrings. As far as the groomsmen, Matt got all of the guys like personalized or I guess monogrammed um, like coolers. They're like just little mini coolers that actually could like fold out and be used as a seat. So good for tailgating, um, definitely fun a good functional gift. He also got all of them just like a little flask and had like uh, his nickname for each groomsman engraved on it. That was just a little something. And then he got each of them like their favorite um, like type of liquor, like a different bottle of alcohol. And then as far as our parents, we're having them just pick out their favorite photo from um, the all the wedding photos. It's probably gonna end up being like a family photo and Matt and I are going to like blow it up and frame it for them. So that's what we did for gifts. The next question is about food and alcohol at the wedding. Um, what do we serve and do we have an open bar? Yes, we had an open bar. Um, both of our families are big partiers. If we did not have an open bar, I don't think it would have gone over well. Plus, I just really enjoy weddings that have open bars because I just think they're really fun. So that was definitely something we wanted. Um, and then as far as food, we did have a sit down dinner um, and then there were just like, you know, a choice of entree, whether it was like, you know, filet or salmon or chicken or something like that. Next question is, do you have any tips on keeping your wedding budget in check? I think the biggest thing as far as wedding budget is A, in the very beginning, you have to sit down and you have to know exactly what your budget is. It can be kind of an awkward conversation, but it's super important that everyone is like very open and honest about what you know they're going to be providing financially for the wedding. So as long as you're completely transparent with that and know exactly what numbers you're working with, um, it makes the whole process go a lot smoother. And then also just decide what's super important to you. It may be a couple things, it may just be one thing, but decide what is really important to you and something that you know you're gonna have a hard time 
compromising on and then pretty much everything else be willing to compromise on. Next question is, did you have a photo booth? Yes, we had a photo booth. It was a great decision. It was so much fun. They're always so much fun. Um, if you are in the Philadelphia area, the company that we used was called Posey Booth. It was really cool because it was kind of like an open air concept. It wasn't like an actual photo booth. So people could just kind of gather in like the photo area and you were able to get a lot of people in one picture, which I thought was really cool. And I know my guests really loved it. They were all having so much fun and the pictures are hilarious. The next question is, what kept you motivated to stay in shape? Um, that's a great question. So about 12 weeks before the wedding, I did start the, uh, like Kayla at Cenas, um, the bik bikini body guide or sweat with Kayla or whatever you want to call it. Um, I did start that and that was something totally new to me. So that was really good for motivation because it like totally got me out of my routine. It was a whole new challenge. So that was really good. Um, I will say though, like the month leading up to the wedding, I didn't fully complete the program. I almost kind of did. But the last month was so difficult because it was so stressful and there was so much going on. You know, going to work all day and then having to go to meetings at night or do stuff at night. Um, it was hard to fit the workouts in, but more so, I was just exhausted. Like, I would try and do one of her workouts and I would just be lightheaded and like not be able to finish it because I was just so, I just had so much going on. But I would say starting that program was really good because it was just something totally different and challenging. Um, and that definitely helped keep me in shape until I was just totally overwhelmed and stressed that it got a little more difficult. Anything I wish I spent more or less on? I don't have any regrets, honestly. I feel like everything, you know, we got what we paid for, all the vendors came through, went above and beyond. I wouldn't really change anything at all, honestly. I just, I, no regrets. <laughs> the next question is, anything you wish you had done differently? Honestly, no. It was amazing. It, exceeded my expectations. It was everything that I was looking for. I had no disappointments. Even the things I thought I was going to be disappointed by, um, for example, having our ceremony at one o'clock in the afternoon, which was really early, I thought. I really wanted a three o'clock ceremony, but we could not find a church that could that was available at that time in the city. But that ended up being amazing. It lengthened the whole day. It gave me and Matt more time to just hang out as bride and groom and take lots of pictures. So um, really, no regrets. I wouldn't change a thing. What was your favorite part of the day? Um, Definitely walking down the aisle, I have to say. It was just such an incredible, surreal moment and something that I'll never ever experience again. It was emotional, but also just very exciting and it was just so, so cool. Just an amazing, amazing moment. But also a second favorite part of the day, <laughs> which this is gonna be surprising, but honestly, the after party. Our after party was so awesome, which no one expected. Like we just went up to the hotel bar, you know, whatever. We'll just head up there, have like a nightcap, you know, chat about the wedding, how fun it was. But it was so fun. It was like super dark. The music was blasting. It kind of had almost like a nightclub feel, and it was just so much fun. I mean, screaming at the top of your lungs, singing "Closer" by the Chainsmokers, surrounded by literally every single one of your best friends. I mean, come on. It was just, it was awesome. The next question is, how did you keep on track and stay organized? I made a lot of lists. I had like five different lists going, huge lists of like to-do lists, things I wanted to buy. Um, I'm a list maker, so that's how I plan. I did have a binder. I honestly didn't use it that much, but just making sure um, I had all of like the contracts printed out. I had a list of all of the due dates for all of the payments for each vendor. That was super helpful. I basically just made lists throughout the whole wedding process and I would hold on to them for months and just slowly check things off because it is a very drawn out process. But yeah, making lists was the most helpful thing for me. The next question is asking about how we picked a caterer and selected a menu. So our venue, um, they did all the food. We did not select a caterer. That was like just included in the venue. Um, but we did select our menu. We just went to like a normal tasting. It was pretty standard, I feel. Next question is what could have gone better? Again, honestly, it went really smoothly. Everything was great. Like the only thing that like went wrong on the wedding day was I forgot to like hand in more of the gold ribbon that was supposed to go on the cake. So like not every tier had gold ribbon on it, only a couple, but like who cares, right? <laughs> Where are your save the dates and invitations from? Our save the dates we actually got from Wedding Paper Divas. I had a like chatty wedding update video. I talk all about the save the dates in that if you're curious. And then as far as our invitations, we actually got them from just a local um, printing company. If you live in the Philadelphia area, we went to Baker Printing and Media and I was obsessed with our invitations. They were so beautiful and like fit into our theme perfectly. The next question is what other venues you considered? Obviously, um, I'm in the greater Philadelphia area. That's where I was looking. I did a whole video on searching for venues that goes really in depth about like how I selected our venue, 
If you watch that video, you'll know that I did a lot of research online and did not look at a lot in person. The only other two venues I looked at in person, other than the one that we went with, was um, Ballroom at the Bend, which I wasn't a huge fan of, and then also Union League, which was a really cool venue, it just was not the vibe I was going for. The next question is, what was our first dance song? It was, I Was Made For Loving You by Tori Kelly and Ed Sheeran. The next question is, what did your bridesmaids and groomsmen wear? The groomsmen just wore tuxes, we got them from Men's Warehouse, nothing crazy there. The bridesmaids, <laughs> oh my god, we had literally the biggest dress disaster. Um, the bridesmaids ended up wearing beautiful like blush gowns, um, pretty much everyone was in a different dress, they picked them out themselves which turned out beautifully and I am happy that that's the way it turned out. But we did have a major disaster. We found out a week before the wedding that um, the dresses that we were going to be using all along, um, when they finally came in very late, we weren't able to use them. So that was a disaster. We ended up getting all new dresses like five days before the wedding. So it was honestly so stressful. <laughs> like that's the last thing you want to be dealing with on your wedding week but it turned out totally fine. I'm actually glad it happened because they looked so beautiful and that was the only drama that we had and it was a week out, so I was cool with it. The next question is, did the groom cry? Yes, he did cry. Were the Badgley Mishka shoes that I wore comfortable? Um, if you guys haven't seen the shoes that I wore, I did show them, I think in the chatty wedding update video. They're beautiful, beautiful shoes, but no, they are not comfortable. So I lasted about four hours in them and then I just couldn't take it anymore. And then I switched into a different pair of heels that I brought because I knew I was not going to be able to make the whole night. In those shoes, that was unrealistic. So no, they were not comfortable. And also the jewel detailing on the back was gorgeous, but it kept getting stuck in my dress like in the tool layers, so not obviously not all dresses are going to have that problem, but that was kind of annoying. The next question is asking like if the day was a whirlwind, um, and what did we do to stay present um, and enjoy the festivities? So it definitely, 100%, it's a whirlwind. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing though, if you go in knowing that it's going to be a whirlwind, um, you're more cognizant of taking steps back and just really like soaking it all in, which Matt and I definitely did. Um, I know a couple times throughout the reception and even in the cocktail hour, we kind of like paused and just looked around and just like really took the moment in. I know before we walk, right before we walked into um, the reception, um, as they like announced us as husband and wife or whatever, um, we both kind of looked at each other and we were like, oh my God, we're about to walk into our reception. Like how cool is that? So there was definitely some moments that we took to just kind of take it all in, which was helpful. Um, but it does go extremely fast, and everyone says it goes fast, but it's literally the fastest day of your life. But I will say, have your ceremony earlier. Our cer ceremony was at one o'clock in the afternoon, which is like so early, but that's literally the only slot we could get in Philly. Um, there was no three o'clock slots available anymore at all. Like I could not get one but I don't regret it at all. In fact, I think it was so much better because it just made the wedding the entire day. Like we had to get up early, like 6 a.m. to get ready, which I mean, some of the girls probably didn't like, but I was so excited that I didn't care. So it just, it was, an, it was a full entire day. There was no like sleeping in and hanging out and then getting ready. It was like, let's do this, it's wedding day. Plus Matt and I and our whole bridal party had like almost three hours in between when the ceremony ended and when our cocktail hour began. So we were driving around in the trolley in the city, taking pictures, hanging out, drinking champagne. And it was just so much fun. Like I can't imagine if we had like a four o'clock ceremony, went right into the reception, like it would have been over in the blink of an eye. So I'm just so happy the way that it worked out. And if you are worried that it's gonna be too much of a whirlwind and you're not gonna be able to fully enjoy it, have your ceremony earlier. Somehow make that work. because. It was honestly the best thing I think happened and at first I did not want it, but looking back I am so so happy that that's the way it worked out because it made the day so much better. Next question is about the photographer that we used. Um, if you were in the greater Philadelphia area or you know surrounding areas like Jersey or anything like that, I would look into Bayada Photography. That is the company that we use. They did my sister's wedding. They're awesome. So of course we wanted to hire them again. Our pictures turned out beautiful, they're amazing, and we are so happy with them, and they're just so much fun to work with. So Bayada Photography is who we use, and I would definitely recommend them. The next question is, what is worth splurging on? Oh, uh, that's a really hard question. <laughs> Obviously, like, you know, photographer and videographer is, like, standard, because those are the only things that you're going to have when the wedding ends, so you want it to be decent quality. I wouldn't say you have to go with like the most expensive photographer and videographer. You can still get amazing quality stuff without, you know, like completely going full ham for like the most expensive one. Definitely a wedding coordinator. Like make that a priority. I promise you will not regret it. 
I was completely stress-free. It was the best money we ever invested, honestly. She was just amazing. The day went perfectly smoothly. I know she had a huge part to play in that. Like hire a wedding coordinator, honestly. If you can make it somehow fit your budget, do it. Did I have a separate reception outfit? Um, I did not. I know that's something that's really popular now. I think it's a really cute idea, but I was honestly just so obsessed with my dress. Like I loved it so much that I can't imagine like only wearing it for half the day and taking it off. Like I just loved it. I wanted to wear it the entire day and night and that's exactly what I did and I was just obsessed with it. And plus it had so many cool details that I wanted people to be able to see it, you know, like up close in person um, at the reception and not just like me going down the aisle because it was just, it was such a cool dress. Um, so no, I didn't. But I will say that I was pretty hot and sweaty on that dance floor. It didn't stop me. I love to dance. But it was definitely hot. Next question is, did I do any like hair or beauty prep leading up to the wedding? Honestly, nothing really too different. Obviously, I kept up with my skincare routine, which I do anyway. I have a whole video that went up right before the wedding, actually, on my whole skincare routine, if you guys are curious what I do. So just making sure I was diligent with my skincare. And then as far as hair, um, I got it like colored about a week out from the wedding. Um, and my stylist, Alyssa, also did like a Olaplex treatment on my hair, which made my hair so smooth and shiny, and it just looked so, so good. That was the only thing out of, the or out of my ordinary routine for hair. Um, and then obviously just drinking a lot of water, which is something I do anyway, but it's important to make sure you're hydrating so that your skin looks beautiful. The very last question is, were there any DIY or decor items that were not worth the time and money? As far as DIY projects, I didn't do a whole lot. Um, I did make all these little gold signs. You'll see in my decor haul, I made them like on, on PicMonkey and had them printed out. I created a like a sign for the main bar. It was like on this cool antique mirror for our signature drink, but that didn't take very long. And then the only other thing was like spray painting um, our table numbers. We ordered like wooden table numbers. All of those weren't super time consuming, so I have no regrets about them. And other than that, I bought so much decor stuff off of Etsy. And I didn't go like super over the top. I feel like I had like just enough decor to kind of fill the spaces where they would be blank and it really you know created the feel I was going for but it wasn't like over the top and also I was like really you know conservative when I was buying the stuff because I knew I wasn't going to use it again so I didn't want to buy anything that was like really extravagant I feel like I was pretty moderate about what I was buying and I didn't go crazy but I also made sure that I was creating like the look that I wanted so yeah no regrets okay guys so that is it for our Q&A I hope that I answered all of your questions the wedding was just amazing. We had such a wonderful time. It was just a it was just a great day. So thank you guys so much for following along with this series. I still have a couple wedding videos I'm going to be doing. I'm going to do a whole wedding video dedicated to all of the things I got off of Etsy and what Etsy vendors I used. I'm also going to be sharing my makeup tutorial um, for my wedding day makeup like I mentioned earlier. So definitely some more wedding videos to come and of course our wedding video when it's finally ready, which it's not yet but I'll let you know. <laughs> and of course, if you're not following me on Instagram and Snapchat, make sure to do so. I'm on there every day and would love to connect with you guys on there. But that is all I have for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching it and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.